You know what? I could really go for some off-roading right about now. Not that way though. Over there is a little farm road, a little tractor road. Let's see about, see how far we can go down there, so we find anything. Before we begin, just to remind people who might stumble across this video, this is a 1000 watt, 48 volt electric bicycle with no suspension and pretty much an, a bald tire. It has bad traction even for regular tarmac or asphalt, so this will be interesting. Although I've actually taken this thing off road quite a few times. And it actually doesn't do that bad, so I imagine building an e-bike that has more grip and wider tires and hopefully suspension would be a really wonderful thing for this. Oh, fuck. Oh. Filming with one hand, as you know, riding with one hand is a real pain in the butt too. This is a real pain in the butt here. Still going about eight miles an hour though, so that's not bad. This is a nice view though. Yeah, that no suspensions are right really biting me in the butt. Literally. Eleven miles an hour. Well, we have a turkey up there. I'm starting to see some looks like poison ivy. Oh yeah, they disappeared. Now this is absolutely beautiful here. Just look at this. Oh, that is beautiful. Creek is right down there, so sometime when I have to go through the creek further to find more bottles and antiques, I think we should come here, park here, because in the winter this will all be clear. And yeah, that's pretty nice. Those turkeys or whatever they were have really dispersed now. That's not poison ivy, but I thought I saw a few plants. Thankfully I brought rubber boots, so that helps a bit. That might be poison ivy right there. That was a bit, oh. <laughs> poison ivy's getting worse. Yeah, this is all poison ivy here. Or this is a plant, it's hard to tell. Sorry, or this is a tree. There we go, English. It's hard to English and ride with one hand. hard time telling if that's poison ivy or not. I mean, it looks suspicious, but I don't see any of the, um, the hairy tendrils or whatever on the 
on the, the vines. Hear that owl? Their sound travels pretty far, actually. Let's get this started again. Oh, let's go over here. Do not want to go down there. It's a two-foot drop, and then a big drop into the creek. So I'm thinking that this would be a good place to check. Just get some hip waders, or just go down there in sandals sometime, because up at the bridges up there, People dr dump a lot of things, and they have for decades, so there's probably a good amount of stuff, like old antique bottles and stuff, that have come down here. At the very least, there's new stuff. So, so yeah, we can probably want to come through sometime and just go several miles down that way and just see what we find. Oops. Just keeping track of what I'm touching. I don't want to be in too much of um irritating plants. Yeah, those trees are beautiful. Got another field up here. That looks like beans. Looks like a truck came through here, but a while ago, not today. Since today's a holiday, I don't know, it's like Labor Day or something. I don't keep track of American holidays. Oh yeah, that's beans. Nice. Well, I don't want to go in there because I, I don't want to, like, I do not want to accidentally hurt any of their plants. At least none of the crops. I'm fine with hurting these ones. <laughs> I just, I would personally feel very bad if I damaged someone's crops, even just a little bit. Going faster. Oh, <sighs> maybe I should get a mountain bike and put a motor on that sometime. Let's go super fucking crazy and. Oh. I've actually done this quite a few times in different areas and I'm so surprised that my bike hasn't just fallen to pieces yet. Especially my quick welds that I did back when I was building it. <sighs> Going through that medium. That median was a bit rough, so gotta be careful. I mean, I probably could get up to about whoa, 16 or 17 miles an hour if I had both hands on the wheel, but even then, it just, it bucks you around so much. It's a real pain in the butt. Oh, I see a tractor over there. Oh, oh, oh. Really 
kicks out. Let's try this one. Yeah, that one might be better. Thirteen miles an hour. Oh man, this gimbal, this thing right here, is a real pain in the butt to to hold. I mean, several pounds. You know, there's one road over here that actually used to be a road, so I wouldn't have to worry about a farmer with a shotgun like this one. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I've I've talked to some of the people that, that farm this stuff. I think they rent it and um They're pretty nice people, so I don't have to worry too much about that. That's a very nice woods. I love what they've done with it. It's not choked with brush and junk like that is. And honestly, that's not even too bad either. You can still walk through that. But there's some sections of forest around here that you really cannot even walk through. Box is when it starts transitioning to a farm road or tractor path, whatever you want to call it. Oh, going 30 miles an hour. Might might not want to hit this at 30. I go right. Gotta choose. Yeah, you can see that mostly just tractors come through here and electric bicycles. Right over there is another part of that creek, so that's another option to go to it. Well, I'm pretty sure last time I was through here it got pretty rough up there, so I don't know if you count this as off-road, but it's semi-off-road. I don't know if you'd count this as a road though. <laughs> I'm joking, it's definitely a road.
This is where I'm losing traction. Digging in quite a bit though, so that's good. Hitting 23 miles an hour. Oh, this sand. I do not like riding through sand with only one hand. stops being even a farm road to some extent. Oh. It's too squirrely for me. Oh, I about wrecked there. Doing this one-handed is a real tough job. Okay, correction. Doing it one-handed at 20 miles an hour, that is what makes it a hard job. See, there's so many options for us to go, but I think we should just pass, pass through and get through this. Oh, I can't decide. Let's try this one again. If we notice any sand, we'll just slow down. You know, this actually is not bad. Go pretty fast in this one. down there that's a five foot drop you know what this definitely was a road this is very nice oh oh here's another creek we should explore sometime oh man so you know what definitely a road that was definitely passable so call that semi off road that'd be probably the best Ooh, goes further want to keep going let's go oh sand i don't like this i don't like this one bit i'm gonna hug the inside and st or no i'll hug the outside here we go
You know, I almost forget to pedal because I'm busy filming. the sand. It's funny, I'm used to riding in sand, but you know what? I think it's a front wheel drive. I think the front wheel on this really changes it because I'm used to a motorcycle in the sand and it's a lot easier to control when it's rear wheel. Oof. some thick stuff here oh and it's all like atomized it's all it's not compacted that would be a big factor in it okay so that's pretty deep you can tell from the tread from the tractor so let's try the left side oh this is not good it's starting to squirrel up again Maybe I should get a head mounted or helmet mounted camera because I could I could just breeze through this if it wasn't for one handedness. weather road only okay so I guess this is a I didn't want this to be a um, didn't want that to be a private road and get in trouble You can hear the popping of the electrical lines. It gets louder when it's humid. Right now it's actually kind of dry, so that makes sense. But yeah, that's like so many hundreds of thousands of volts of electricity going through those. And you can actually hear the sound of the power.
Well, let's go catch the wind back home. abandoned house there, 1920s or so. We're going to get a hold of the owner sometime and see if we can explore there and get some of the antiques. Like, look at the, I bet that old barn right there that's collapsed, I bet that's got some interesting things inside of it. at the wind so it appears that the wind hasn't been as much as I thought it was because we still have someone wind pushing against us but you know it's not bad for 20 miles an hour up on a kind of iconic place that I remember. So there's this particular left swooping curve over a very deep creek. Church, 1843, Waveland Presbyterian Church, right up there. For some reason, I always just remember, well, that's a nice tractor, very nice tractor. I always remember that location, ever since I was a little kid. It's just a, it's a, I don't know, it's very classic looking. You know, because everywhere else is all these straight roads. Whereas back in the day, I, I think a lot of roads are more twisty turny and winding around property.
And we're back where we started. Thing will kill your back. On road, it's fine, but off road, it's uh, not that great. I think that if I want to do off roading again, I should just build a better bike or buy a bike that has suspension and stuff, like a mountain bike. But man, that was fun. To be honest, though, filming it did make it twice as hard, so. The other time when I did that, it wasn't so bad. It just rained a while ago, so the water's up a bit. reason my ears are pumped and I just can't hear right but oh well hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching see ya